Hello my planner cravers, it's your girl Sandy and I am back with another video. Alright guys, so what we're going to do today is my paycheck number two. I got paid on the 28th, so we're going to go in and see you know um what i am going to be needing to pay off of this paycheck so let's get into the video so for this video <clears throat> for my second pay i will let you guys know the let me zoom you guys in the remaining i had was 118 dollars and 60 cents that's what i had remaining from the first pay well um let's go ahead and start i don't know why i even said it like that but um so what we're going to do is go ahead and calculate what's for the next bills which is going to be for coming in july um because i have most of the oh you know what i forgot about this too okay sorry all right um <laughs> um so actually okay so sorry guys i had to i had miscalculated something okay so for this video we're doing a second paycheck so got paid on the 28th so we're going into the next month for july so right now what i'm going to do is go ahead and calculate put down all the bills that's due and then i put the amount and then a total and then whatever i am left off with so let's go ahead and get into the video so right now um all the bills for june is paid all the bills for June is paid. So I get paid bi-weekly and this is how we're going to do. So right now, I'm going to calculate rent. Okay, so we're going to calculate my rent. Let me see, we got my water. Next one is electric. Now, it's funny because somehow, I seriously, uh, my electric and my gas bill, it was it's pretty much the beginning of the month. I always paid at the end of the month just to get them out the way, but I waited till the end, I mean the beginning of the month. So, that's what's a little bit different about this. So, see, we got that. And then I have my credit, credit ones, I put 50 all, always pay more on my credit one card, also have a first progress card, and I always pay more on that as well. And then of course, lovely daycare. So. The daycare is closed on July 4th and the 5th, so I only pay for the three days. So right now, I only need to pay $75 as far as daycare goes. So this is all that's on my second pay, which is great because <laughs> um, usually it's more than that. But sometimes, you know, even if I have something like like right now i hate when my phone my car insurance and my car note is due on the same day then i might end up whatever i have remaining may pay on you know but right now i'm just showing you guys what i have left i haven't made that decision yet so right now i am starting at 1359 dollars so i did carry over a hundred or two of this um and then I also had, you know, money from Babe and then my paycheck. So this is where I'm starting off at. Um, this is not awesome. This has, it's kind of interesting because I haven't talked about much of my Etsy, but this is not my Etsy. This is not included my Etsy or what I've received. So this is just pretty much what my pay is, what I get from Babe, and then whatever I remain from the last check. So this is how much I'm starting off at. And the amount for everything here equals two. Let's do some calculations. 31, 31, 60 plus 60, 50 plus 50, 75. So we're looking at $901.31 
the amount for this. So I'm just gonna just, so remaining is, yep, $457.69 is remaining for this pay. And it's really hard to, cause I'm like, what? That's not bad, you know? But only thing I had was the rent, water, gas, and then I had credit one. Now, if I went to pay my water, I mean my gas and my electric bills, that's, that would free me up another $120. But right now, this is where I am starting off at. Not a bad start for June. As I said, it's going to get bad before it gets good. So this is what I was talking about. So right now, this is where I'm starting off at. And... I am like in shock because I'm like, I had to double check that a couple times because I'm like, I don't think that's right. You know what I mean? So I had to check it and check it and check it. So, and I was like, wow, that's, that's, that's a lot that I would have remaining. So right now that's what I'll have left. And then I pretty much, like I said, I like to carry over my balances just to let you guys know. So yeah, um, that's what I'm starting off at. So we're starting off June on the right foot. Um, I said some things, you know, maybe, you know, some days is harder than others, but you gotta just stick to it, stick, you know. And then we'll go through. Now that shows like that, but at the same time, you know, I've done some spending, I track my spending. And like I tell you, I haven't told you guys about my Etsy pays. And I actually need to put another one here. So usually when I, I set up my Etsy pays every Monday, um, so that's how I usually do that. It's just a little bit of extra money, a little bit of extra coinage from my pockets. Um, so it's not bad, but at the same time, um, when you have remaining balances, you just got to put it into, you know what I mean? Just keep going. That's how I usually do it. So that way I have some money that's freed up. So yeah, so that's how that happens. So Alrighty guys, that actually <laughs> that actually concludes this video. Um, so the next one you will see will be my uh, my weekly check-in. We'll go over that. And I uh, do thank you so much for viewing this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.